Hi everyone, the weekend is here and it's looking to be a pretty nice one. I expect sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. If anything, the temps a few degrees below normal. Mid 40s for highs, overnight lows will be in the 20s. And it looks like the nice stretch continues into next week. Before we get into the forecast, we have a treat this weekend. The Leonid meteor showers go on all month long, but they actually peak early tomorrow morning. You look high in the southeast sky, you should see... 20 plus meteors per hour so pretty impressive we'll have clear skies for it we'll have clear skies again tomorrow night so nice little treat in the nighttime sky but it will be cool overnight lows will be bottoming out in the 20s here's what's happening with tonight's satellite radar composite there are a few clouds overhead you probably saw those today look at what's happening to our west not much at all we have a big bubble of high pressure building in that means we have several days of pleasant weather. So we're going to enjoy the sunshine. Overnight lows tonight will be in the 20s. What can you do when temperatures are this cold? Well, you can make snow. This is the scene at Wildcat Mountain. I've been showing you photos from all the different mountains in the area. Sunday River, uh, Sugarloaf, where they may be making snow, Cranmore, Bretton Woods. Uh, Wildcat now sending some photos here. So it is cold enough, and yes, a lot of these mountains are opening up. In addition to that, we also have some football games this weekend over at Fitzpatrick Stadium. If you're heading to some of those, Lawrence versus Thornton Academy, Class A, 11 o'clock in the morning, unlimited sunshine, a light wind. Wind should not fill, uh, factor into these games. Temperatures will be right around 40 degrees for that 11 a.m. game. Now, the best uh, weather conditions of the day will be during the afternoon. Let's take a look at those temps. 2.30, Class C, Foxcroft in Winslow. Temps will be in the mid-40s, a pleasant afternoon, and of course, it always gets a little bit colder at nighttime. The Class B game, 6 o'clock in the evening, Mount Blue versus Marshwood, 39 degrees. Those temps will be falling throughout the game. The good news, the wind should not be that much of a factor. North wind probably around 5 to 10 miles per hour, but it will be turning colder as soon as that sun sets. Now to the details in your forecast. Storm Tracker will get rid of any clouds that we have overhead this evening, 3 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Temps starting in the 20s, so it's a cool start to the day early on. Actually, I should stop this at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. 20s early in the day on Saturday. Really, it's an uneventful weekend forecast. Mid 40s for highs tomorrow again a light northerly wind this is about 3 30 in the afternoon temperatures again in the 40s these temps fall tomorrow night into the 20s again it's starting to sound like a broken record right 20s for lows 40s for highs sunday afternoon notice the time stamp stamp there about 115 i expect high temps in the lower to mid 40s if you're looking for more nice weather we have it from monday tuesday Wednesday and right into Thanksgiving. No big storms are in sight, but it looks like our weather pattern will become more active as we head into next weekend and more so the week after that. So let's enjoy the sunshine while we have it and hope everyone enjoys the weekend. I'll have updates tonight live at 5, 530, News 13 at 6, and another update on News 13 at 11. Have a nice night.